Hiya, I am back. Um, I thought I would do a quick video um, on clipping in. Um, and I just need to say, I'm absolutely not an expert. Definitely not an expert. I am, however, a girl who fell on her face many a time and was very scared of clipping him. I just thought it'd be helpful to show some top tips and chat a little bit about clipping in on the bike and how to get used to it fast. So why clip in in the first place, especially when it can be so nerve wracking, what are the benefits? You're gonna feel more secure on the bike. Uh, you'll also get the power benefit when you're going uphill. So once you lift your foot to go uphill and then push it down, you'll definitely feel a difference in terms of power and how strong and secure you are. If you're riding in the wet, the amount of times I was riding in trainers and flat pedals and smashing my shins, by clipping in, you won't have that problem because you'll just be able to keep your foot firmly attached and obviously just clip out once you got used to it. First things first was understanding the different cleat systems and pedals. So for me, I went with what is called a Look Keo pedal um, and you can choose different colors of them. I think they come in red, gray, I don't know if they come in black as well maybe um and the difference between the colors basically means a difference in what is known as float i had no idea for a very long time what float means um but basically it means the amount of movement you've got or like wiggle room if you like and this little cleaty here this red cleat attaches into the pedal so i as a beginner and someone who's so nervous about being attached to the bike wanted something with the most flow what i do is when you get your bike fit ideally is try and get your cleat and your pedal also fit you can draw a lovely outline uh, with a pen on the bottom of your shoe so you can always kind of copy that if you have to change your cleat because more often than not these wear down very fast i've worn some horrendously bad worn down cleats they then struggle to kind of clip in and out and you need to replace so if you've had a bike fit and you've got your pedals and your cleats in the right position you just want to make sure you've got that outline so you can just follow it again once you get a new pair uh, to replace so first up this little pedal which looks like a lollipop head, is called a speed play. Why do we have the speed play? Because I've got really bad knees and the float on speed play is really, really good, which means you can rotate your, your feet quite a lot. And I really like that they're double-sided. So you don't have to struggle about with finding the right side of the pedal. You can clip on either side. The actual like clip mechanism isn't on the pedal. It's all in the shoe. That's why they look really nice and neat. In here. Yeah, you can see the cleat is there. There's a spring mechanism there, and that's what it's grabbing onto. So this is what I learned to clip in on. You can loosen uh, the pedals so they are easier to get in and out of. We also always spray this with a bit of WD-40 before a ride, just so it's even more uh, lubricated and I can get my foot in and out of. Um, and these are actually the Garmin uh, power pedals. These have got the extra benefit of being able to measure power um, and feed back some stats whilst I'm on a ride. But anyway, this kind of pedal matches the cleat that's on the bottom of my shoe. That one is single-sided, a bit trickier to actually clip in, but the float is pretty good. And what's more expensive? Mm. <laughs> Speed play is a lot more expensive. Treated himself, clearly. How much do those cleats cost? Maybe 15, 20 pounds? Bargain. These cleats, multiply that by three. Right, I don't typically replace these for me they last like maybe ten thousand kilometers and then finally this one i actually don't know what this is what what is this <laughs> these are spds which are typically used for like mountain biking there's even a bit of <laughs> pit wilderness in the pedal i really like these because on the shoes it's like recessed so you can walk in them so it's good for like mountain biking gravel Indeed. and they're also two-sided so you can so get in and out. Exactly, and it's really, really good for mud. Oh. You coming to help? Do you want to talk about the pedals? Another type of cleat you can find. Top tips for practicing. What I was doing was spending ages just basically standing with my foot, practicing the mechanism. Just start to get used to the feeling. Clipping in and twisting out because it feels so alien at first. Try and practice with the foot that you're going to unclip out when you stop at traffic lights. So probably what might be your, is it fair to say, dominant side. So whether you think you're going to take your left foot out to feel more comfortable when you stop at a junction, practice with that. Um, 
and also just practice on grass. If you don't fall, you're lucky, but it is a rite of passage. And do not worry if you do fall, just get back up, clip in and go again. But when should you unclip? Top tip would be to leave plenty of time if you're approaching a junction, especially if you're feeling a little bit nervous and you haven't got the mechanism down. I still do this really far out if I know a junction's coming. So just start to unclip, make sure your feet are kind of loose as you approach a junction or a set of traffic lights and just get in position ready to put your feet down. The sooner you do it, the better until you get pretty dab hand at unclipping at late notice. So in summary, if you find the right pedal for you, you practice clipping in on grass, you spray some WD-40 to make sure it's nice and loose and you loosen the pedal, not tighten it like we did initially, you should be well on your way to clipping in and out. With practice, it does get easier and I promise you'll definitely feel the benefits. Happy riding. Feel free to like, comment, boop and subscribe. <laughs>